City University of Hong Kong is an international university which emphasizes the integration of research and teaching. The university promotes diversified, cross-cultural studies through various educational programs. To promote our educational vision, City University of Hong Kong produced a series called Beyond Boundaries, Dialogue with Presidents of World's Leading Educational Institutions. Professor Wei Guo, President of City University of Hong Kong, talks to presidents of universities and principals of high schools around the world, exploring each other's strengths and looking forward to the future direction of educational development. University of Louvain in Belgium is the oldest extant Catholic university. Over the past 600 years, its development has been intertwined with the vicissitudes of religion and politics in Europe, forming a unique historical trajectory. In 1425, Pope Martin V issued a papal bull to establish the University of Leuven in the city of Leuven. The university initially comprised five faculties, arts, canon law, civil law, medicine, and theology. In the 16th century, the university attracted renowned European scholars to teach there, including humanist Erasmus, the father of modern anatomy, Vesalius, and cartographer, Mercator. In 1968, the university was split into two independent sister universities, French-speaking Université Catholique du Louvain and Dutch-speaking Catholique Université de Leuven. The Dutch-speaking university stayed located in the city of Leuven, while the French-speaking university built new facilities in the university town of Leuven-la-Neuve, as well as in Brussels, where the St. Luke University Hospital opened in 1976. Today, UC Leuven has grown significantly across seven locations in Belgium and stands as the top French-speaking university in Belgium. As the pioneer in science park development, UC Louvain established the louvain la neuve Science Park in 1971. Today, UC Louvain owns two science parks and four business incubators. Today, we are very honored to invite Professor Vincent Blondel, rector of University of Louvain, to share the experience and vision of this Catholic university. Professor Wei Kuo, President of City University of Hong Kong, is well known for his research on the reliability of electronic systems and nuclear energy. In his early years, he worked at Bell Laboratories in the United States, who held the position of department head and dean of the School of Engineering in an American university, and was conferred academicians in various countries. Professor Wei Kuo has served as the president of City U for more than 10 years. His philosophy of education is summarized in the lyrics of the City U anthem, which he wrote, Learn and Question Beyond Boundaries. Professor Wei Kuo has also published several books about education. 
he is particularly concerned about the challenges facing contemporary education around the world. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to carry the conversation, Rector Blondell. Um, I understand you have had tremendous experience in UK, France, Sweden, and particularly you have been with the USA universities for a long period of time. You've been with from the west side of UC Berkeley to the you know east side of MIT. So you, you are really very international by yourself, being associated with uh, so many communities. There's another unique thing about you. Uh, you, have, uh, you have been promoting uh, distance learning. I understand you have been the, um, the leader of the edX. <laughs> yes. And also, um, you see Louvain has had a good program of MOOCs. And the MOOCs actually have been very popular in USA. I think one of the, the most popular universities that promote MOOCs is MIT. Um, so you're good at both of, of these. Uh, could you share with us some of your experience? Yes, so that uh, started uh, 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago now. Uh, in, in, in the US with EDX, uh, the platform that was established by uh, MIT and Harvard. And, and there was another platform, uh, uh, Coursera and, and, and others, but, uh, but EDX was one of the main one, one of the main platform offering online courses, MOOCs, massive online open course, course open to uh, the wide public. And uh, I was at MIT at that time and I saw uh, things coming out from, from, from the university and this, this project uh, taking shape. And so uh, uh, I had the opportunity to, uh, to make sure that UC Louvain, the University of Louvain, was, uh, was part of that from the very start. And um, uh, when we brought this idea here, it was not easy. And, and, uh, and across other universities as well, it was not easy because uh, uh, it's, um, I mean, for the, for the professors, it, it really asked their, their purpose and their, um, it asks also what, what role they should have in, in teaching. Because when you teach an online course, uh, you reach a very large public. Some of these professors become sort of start, uh, stars of, of, of teaching. Uh, but then it questions the role of, of, of professors within the university. So if, uh, if all students here at UC Louvain uh, uh, would take courses from uh, MIT, Harvard, from Hong Kong, from, from other places, uh, very well prepared course. So what is the role of a professor uh, at, at home? And so um, I think that it, 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 uh, it uh, raises a very good question for universities in the future, much more in the future than today, what is completely essential. And this is also true in the context of the pandemic that we have now. Uh, because of course many of the courses are, taking, uh, uh, are taken online and, and for the courses that have been offered by UC Louvain we have millions of students across the world that have taken some of the courses we've offered on, on platform both in French and in English. Uh, but so it raised a very, a very good question for, for universities. So what do we bring to the students when they are on site? So we need, when, when the students are present physically they need to have something that they don't have otherwise. And so the, the benefit of having students in presence is, is completely essential in the future for universities. Otherwise, they will not come anymore. And, 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 uh, and there are things that can be done 
when people are in physical presence that cannot be done otherwise. And so that, that is what universities should, uh, should be very extremely attentive at uh, uh, for, for their future. So it presents a new paradigm, apparently. It hasn't been this way, say, 10 years ago, and now it becomes so popular. Yes, uh, and it's a combination of different factors because it's, on, it's not only the fact that uh, uh, things can be done uh, remotely, but it's also due to the fact that uh, knowledge is available everywhere. So in the past, at universities, were places where knowledge was present and was passed from the professors to the students, but, but today, of course, everything is there. It's on Wikipedia, it's on the YouTube, it's on the web, it's on, the, on o open courses and so forth. So knowledge is available everywhere. And, and, uh, and so the universities are not anymore just the places, the place where knowledge is present and, and, and taken out from the library uh, to, to the students. I mean, the role of library, libraries have, has, have completely changed, of course, over the last uh, decades or so. As the forerunner of online education in Europe, UC Louvain launched free massive open online courses in 2014. The university actively develops online education and conducts student exchange programs with universities around the world in order to expand students' world horizons. We want, uh, of course, students to be exposed to the world. And so they need, we, we want them to be physically present here, but we want them to be exposed to the world. So it means that either we bring the world, part of the world on campus, which is what we do with more than 20% of our students international and uh, students coming from more than 100 different countries. But we also want them to spend some time abroad, including in Hong Kong. And we have agreements, of course, all over the world. And uh, today at the uh, University of Louvain, at the, the end of their studies, which last for five years, uh, in, in Belgium it's five years of study, uh, uh, more than 25%, one student out of four, has spent six months or more abroad. And 50% of them in Europe, but 50% outside of Europe, America, Asia, uh, and so forth. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's essential in the way we conceive the, the role of universities. I, I think I can agree with you more. Um, it, it's a challenge for us okay, with, where people learn something that um, if they don't rely on us, they can still get something, something somewhere else. So it gives us a challenge to, to be more innovative. <laughs> You have been the, with the, the UC Louvain as um, a president there for many, many years. Well, given such an environment, and also as a very successful university under your leadership, uh, how would you describe UC Louvain and its achievements? What do you expect um, university will do for the next step? The situation of the, the university very much depends also on the global situation, the economic situation in, in Belgium. And so it's a concern for us. And we need also to contribute to that. And also as a public, publicly funded university, it's all very natural that we are attentive and that we pay attention to uh, what role is being assigned to the university by the public funding. So that's, that's certainly very natural. Another aspect is the sort of revolution that is going on for the moment in Europe. I'm not sure it's very visible uh, all over the world, but uh, uh, for the moment we, we, uh, we are sort of in higher education in the, the second uh, most impressive evolution uh, in the European scene after the Erasmus program. We are establishing European universities. And so uh, this was after uh, a visionary speech by uh, Emmanuel Macron, the, the, the president of, the, of France, uh, who uh, suggested that we establish all over Europe European university by joining forces between different universities. And so, for example, at the University of Louvain here, uh, we have established uh, a European university with the University of Paris in France, with King's College in London, 
with the University of Berlin, Humboldt University in Berlin, University of Vienna, Pisa, Oslo. And so putting all these universities together, the, the president meet on a very regular basis. And we want students in the future, uh, students within these universities to think of themselves as being part of the university to which they registered, but to think of themselves as being part of this more global, more la the larger uh, university that is present in, in, many, in several countries uh, uh, across Europe. And so this is a, 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 an evolution, a very challenging evolution, but it's certainly one of the challenges for the future years. Well, that sounds very interesting. Any solid evidence that uh, UC Louvain are working with other European universities at this moment? Yes, so there, there are already many projects that we are uh, uh, setting up with these universities. So, for example, uh, one of the most recent ones is that we've decided that we would have uh, uh, professors that are sort of uh, shared between the different universities. So we have hired professors that were from the University of Louvain and that have uh, agreed to keep a, a fraction of their time to spend with other universities that are from the European University. And so the students in these other universities will be exposed very directly from, from teaching from professors from the other uh, respective uh, universities. And so the intention being then that students may be attracted for uh, doing their master or perhaps doing their PhD and moving from one to the other and thinking of themselves as being part of this larger community and spending time there, learning a little bit of the language, learning a little bit of the culture, making friends with uh, people from the country. So these are elements that will uh, uh, ensure that an understanding, uh, a better understanding of the people and, and eventually between the countries is taking place. And, and it's also sort of a guarantee for a, a, a better future. You have started um, in the 15th century at a Catholic university. What are the differences between a Catholic university and from other European universities? Or anything we can learn from there? Yes, so at the time, indeed, uh, and you know a lot about my, the history of my university, congratulations. So uh, it was established in 1425. And uh, at that time, of course, all institutions in Europe, all universities that were established had some ties with religious ties. And so it was established as a Catholic university. Today, we have students, staff, professors from all confession, all religion, including no, no, no atheists and so forth. So it's, uh, it's completely open. But of course, every university has its own history, its own culture, and, and there is a culture, there is a history that, that goes back to 600 years old and, and six, six uh, uh, century. And, uh, and at that time, it was established uh, uh, on a religious basis. So certainly that, for example, uh, 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 an attention to the people, uh, a particular attention to the people, certainly that uh, uh, the, the, the value of solidarity within the community, these are values that, are, that, that we inherit also from, uh, from, from, from our past. And, and that's very much present. And certainly that uh, if you were to come to this university or if you go to, a, uh, to Berlin or if you go to Oslo or if you do go to Paris, they each have their, their own history and they have their own culture. And, and this is the result of their, of, of their past. And so uh, this is what makes probably the, the touch, uh, the, the, the culture of the, of the University of Louvain, which also has a, a, another aspect to it, and that relates to uh, one of your earlier questions. Uh, we'll soon be uh, 600 years old, and the university um, has gone through so many troubles over the 600 years. We've gone through wars. Uh, the, the university library was destroyed during the war, and today we have millions of books again. Uh, the, the university was closed uh, by the French. For 30 years, the university was closed and disappeared from the scene. We were expelled at some stage in our, our history. We were expelled from the city in which we were established uh, 50 years ago, and we rebuilt another city 30 or 40 kilometers away from that. So meaning that universities are there to last. And, and, and they go through lots of, of uh, 
difficult times, but they survive and they, they may stay on. That's certainly the case, and that's certainly sort of the, the sense uh, at, at Louvain that, that, that I feel the, uh, the, what I also inherit uh, through 600 years. We've gone through so many difficulties, so many troubles, but there is some resilience in universities. 各位朋友,我们今天很高兴跟鲁文天主教大学的校长 Vincent Blondell交谈 鲁文天主教大学是一个有六百年历史大学 Resilience 对于一个这么有历史地位的大学存在了六百年，我相信是我们一个很好的学习榜样. It's my real pleasure to uh, uh, talk to you today. Same for me. And, and wish you a very good day. Same to you. Thank you very much for the interview.